What's up, YouTube? We are back with another video. Today, we have something completely different, okay? Completely different. Today, we are looking at the Rogue Company characters in game, all right? So, we have no gameplay on this video. Today, we are just looking at their abilities and what they can actually do, all right? So, trust me, calm down. Calm down in the comments. We're going to have some gameplay. I will be streaming this probably later tonight. And we're going to get some gameplay, okay? But today we are just focusing on the players. So if you guys are brand new to the channel and you guys want more Rogue Company content, then make sure to smash that subscribe button and also ring that bell. So today we're focusing on this game, but I do play a lot of different games on this channel. So expect some Destroy All Humans later tomorrow or whenever throughout the week, okay? So join the Discord. That link will be down below in the pinned comments. So you will be notified for all my upcoming events when I go live on Twitch, pretty much everything. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get into this right now. So first things first, we've got to go into our rogue little characters. Now, I'm not going to lie. There are few, uh, like a very few of these characters are very overpowered. Some of these dudes or ladies need a, need a nerf. Okay. Some of them need a nerf. But we're going to get into that in a whole nother video. I'm going to let you guys decide who you think is OP right now. So as you guys can see at the top of the screen, the boy's been playing a little bit, you know. I got the, I'm level 16, you know, we got some, you know, we got some medals or whatever you want to say. So we can unlock a new player. I'm going to let my stream decide what player we unlock later tonight. But we're going to go ahead and start just right in order. So first things first is Anvil. Now, please correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comment section. If I say anybody's name wrong, I don't want to butcher anybody's name, but you know, I, I'm new. You know, this is my second day on it. <laughs> you feel me? So Anvil. Okay. So Anvil is more of a big body player. I've seen a few people play with him. Personally, I actually like playing with him. And um, let's go ahead and see what his bio or his description says. So one of the first rogues, Anvil is a career soldier who's tough as nails. Now, that is dope, okay? So, for his ability, he gets a barricade. Now, with this barricade, you deploy a barricade that blocks damage and movement. That is crazy. That is crazy. So, he's like the big body tough guy. He's like the protector. Now, for his passive, he, has, he gains immunity to EMP, disorient, and slow and blinding effects. So flashbangs or anything that is meant to slow people or blind people. This dude doesn't really, he don't see that. Okay. He doesn't see that. Now for his weapons, we do see that he gets a shotgun and he also gets that LMG, which is completely dope, by the way, if I should add that in there. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to focus on the weapon loadouts later and maybe the next video or another video. But we're just looking at the descriptions and all that stuff. So we are complete with Anvil. Now, I don't know how to say his name, but is it Chalk? Chak? I, I don't know. But his description is a ruthless vigilante before joining Roko. Chalk makes up for a regretful past by bringing justice to those in need. I need to see his bio. You know what I'm saying? I need to see his bio. I need to see what this character storyline is. But his abilities are actually really dope. I used them a couple times maybe yesterday. So his ability is the stem pack. Now, overheal yourself for a duration or revive yourself while downed. That is, that is definitely OP. Now, if you can get away. Now, a lot of the times that I play this game, if you get down, somebody's coming to finish that kill. But... If you know you're about to go down, you can use the stem pack to overheal yourself. So you'll probably have like 110, 115 health. And then you go and finish the fight. Insane, right? Now for his passive, he has a passive called Grit. While downed, gain increased health and the ability to dodge roll. That's insane. That is insane. So you see his weapons right here. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. Now we have Dallas. Personally, Probably my top three favorite players to use just because his abilities are so overpowered. I can definitely see this guy being used a lot in ranked, but we're going to go ahead and continue on with his description. A former Texas outlaw, Dallas is widely regarded as one of the best trackers in the world. So for his ability, target finder, 
reveal the closest enemy for a short duration. That is OP. You literally have wall hacks with this dude right here. All right. So for his passive is called recharge. Recharge your ability upon downing an enemy, which is dope because you get to down an enemy, then you snap, and then you get to see where his homies are. You know what I'm saying? It, it's that easy. It's that easy. Dallas is definitely one that you guys should be using. Now, I want to say that this guy's name is Dima. This is probably one of my favorite players to watch. Now, if I was watching a stream or something, this is probably a dude that I would like to watch because he is the attacker, okay? So looking at this guy, Dima's most known for his explosive personality and liberal use of explosives. This dude is the grenader of the group. Now... I think that's called Merv Launcher. Equip a devastating cluster grenade launcher. Yes, it's a cluster grenade launcher. Can easily finish people that's hiding in a corner or hiding in a room that you can't breach. Like, it's crazy. Now, for his passive, it's called Burn. Enemies you down are revealed to your team for a short duration, which is crazy. So, you can get your kills finished. That is, that is love. That is love. I don't see him too much in the ranked, but... He might pop up. I mean, he might pop up. Now, the next person is Glitch, one of the world's most notorious hackers. Glitch uses his skill and technology to win battles. I've played against a few users that use Glitch. He's kind of annoying, okay? Not going to lie. He's kind of he's kind of annoying. His ability is called Hack. Activate a device that can detect nearby enemy signals and infiltrate their systems. It's crazy. Now... <laughs> Intuition is his passive, and it detects nearby enemy equipment through walls. I can definitely see me using Glitch later on, because, you know, he's not unlocked yet. But I can definitely see me using him later on after I get my coins or my uh, my badges or my medals up. And um, he will definitely be a fun character to use, not going to lie. Now, Lancer. This, by far, might be one of the top three cheesiest OP people to use in rogue company all right so let's read let's read the uh, description a world champion free runner and social media superstar lancer shook the world by joining rogue company now for her ability quick and quiet you guys when i tell you that she is very quick and very quiet this is the character that you want to use if you want to hard flank an enemy team okay so quick and quiet you gain increased movement speed, quieter movement, and immunity to reveals for a duration or until firing your weapon. So nobody can see you on the map until you're e either your ability is over or you fire your weapon. Insane. You're fast, you're quiet, and you can't be seen? Come on now. Now for the passive, it's called elusive. Activating dodge roll reloads your current equipped weapon now i'm not i would be lying if i told you that i'm not going to unlock this character as soon as i can because this seems kind of cheesy and i want all that cheese you feel me i want all that cheese all right so next we have phantom this is definitely one of the most overpowered people if you know how to hit your sniper shots very annoying good players that use phantom are one of those things that want, make you want to, you know, bounce your head off a keyboard or something. But looking at the description, Phantom was a genetic experiment trained from birth to be an unparalleled sniper and assassin. That is dope. That's probably one of the most dope descriptions that we've read so far. So for her ability, she has the nano smoke. Now, what you do is you equip a smoke grenade that reveals enemies in the area. Now, for her passive, it's called Grievous Wounds. Damaging an enemy delays their health regeneration. That is insane. That is insane. So if you use this player, you're probably cheesy or you're probably really good at the game. I don't know. So now we got to go ahead and get into our next character, which is Ronin. Now, when it comes to Ronin, let's see, an underground street racing champion. Ronin's always up for some action. So, okay, so she was a street racer before this, okay? So, how is she so good with that sword, huh? Like, what's going on? 
All right, so Ballistic Knife is her ability. Equip an explosive throwing knife that attaches to surfaces and detonates when enemies are near. Yes, it it works. <laughs> it works. I've been blown up by this so many times. It's insane. Now, her passive is Underground. So she is hidden on enemies mini map. That is actually pretty OP. I like it. I like it. I like it. I should probably be using her more, but I like it. So the next player that we need to go ahead and focus on is going to be a player called Saint. Now, Saint is just a dope medic. I can definitely a thousand percent say that Saint is going to be very reliable or a very well used character when it comes to ranked gameplay on rogue company okay so once a part of the elite paris para rescue unit saint joined rogue company to save lives and help those in need now for his ability he has the revive drone send a medical drone to revive a down friendly anywhere on the map yes he saves lives out here, okay? He saves lives out here. For your passive, you got the medical expertise. Reviving a teammate heals both of you for a significant amount. So not only does he revive his teammates, but he also gains health for reviving teammates. That is pretty dope. That is pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. That is pretty dope. So now for our next one is probably the most overpowered person in rogue company and that is of course scorch i will be making a top three of the most overpowered people before they try to patch anything but scorch is definitely going to be number one spoiler alert okay scorch whoa hold on so she doesn't have a description interesting okay so for her ability is called overheat for a period of time your firearms and melee attacks will set enemies on fire dealing damage over time are you guys starting to see why she's a little op okay okay now for her passive she is immune to fire so you throw fire you run through it you walk through it you swim in it it doesn't matter she's immune to it okay so she's setting you on fire with these bullets and She's immune to him. All right, let's get it. All right, so for the next one, I do see a lot of people using him, and this is a player called Talon. Okay, so once an inf infamous, hold on, I can't read the day. Once an infamous enforcer in the Japanese underworld, Talon has switched sides and now works for Rogue Company. So for his ability, he has a radar dart. Equip a radar dart that when thrown attaches to surfaces and detects nearby enemies on the radar. You're going to kind of need one, okay? You're going to need a talent on your squad. Now for his passive, he has the mag gloves, pick up and reclaim items from range, which is kind of dope, which is kind of dope. Especially if you, I guess if you're throwing swords or throwing stuff, then that can definitely come in handy. Now, for our second to last one is Trench. Now, not a lot of people are going to use him, but I do think that he is wonderful when it comes to the defense, okay? When it comes to defense, you might want to dabble into some Trench, okay? So now, a skilled fighter and natural leader. Trench is the heart of the Rogue Company team, okay? I didn't know that. So, for his ability, Barbed Wire Grenade. Create a field of barbed wire that slows enemies. Okay, so I use that a couple times, not gonna lie. And it does slow them. But the only bad thing is, yes, you can damage it just by standing in it and just, you know, hacking it away with either a sword or I guess you could probably shoot at it. I don't know if you would want to, but I think you can. But um, it would be dope if it just didn't slow you, but it actually dealt a little bit of damage. Maybe like just a little bit. As, so people just won't stand in it or it will cost a little bit for you to have to run through it. You know what I mean? So maybe that's something that they will, you know, fix later, but whatever. Passive, he has a passive called Gadget Up. Carry an additional gadget. So it's pretty dope. He's kind of, you know, the dude that will set down the territory and lock it down for you and make it hard for enemies to just try to either push or maybe flank you 
unexpectedly, all right? So the last and final character, which I must unlock as soon as possible, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe her name reads Vi, okay? So when it comes to Vi, infected by a deadly poison, Vi is a freedom fighter desperately searching for a cure. Her ability is Vile Poison. Create a cluster of poison pools that reduce enemy maximum health, which is insane, okay? It, it actually looks pretty cool when you look at it. So the passive is Leeching Poison. Now, what this does is it does it helps reducing the maximum health of enemies gradually increases your maximum health up to a cap of 25. So pretty much, I'm guessing when you use your poison and it hurts them, it helps you. So, hey, that is pretty fire. I'm not going to lie, that is pretty fire. But these are all of the Rogue Company characters as of right now, okay? As of right now, these are all of them. I'm pretty sure they're going to be making battle passes and different characters to come out and use. So just be on the eye for that. This is a brand new game. It has not been out for too long, and I think it is fun, okay? It is very fun. I'm going to be definitely playing this on stream later today, and uh, we're going to have some fun. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully it served somewhat as an informational video just to look at all the characters, because this is a closed beta right now. So um, get a head start. Because this game will come out soon. Get a head start and figure out what characters you would like to use. Gameplays are coming very soon. If you would like to join the family and get notified for all of my videos, please make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button and also ring the bell. And just to make sure you get all the notifications for when I drop a video or for when I go live on Twitch, make sure to join my Discord. That link will be in the pinned comment down below. But... Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and continue having a wonderful day and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.